Season 2 of The Mandalorian continued this week, where Din Djarin found himself playing a space Uber driver, and the show continues to make us happy by pulling plenty of stuff from the existing Star Wars vault. We'll be getting deep into Episode 2, The Passenger, today, so make sure you've caught up before watching any more of this video. And without any further ado, I'm Greg Elliott with Screen Rant, and here's every Star Wars reference and Easter egg in the second episode of Season 2 of The Mandalorian. <laughs> As Mando speeds back from his encounter with last week's Crate Dragon, he gets ambushed by some funky looking aliens, including a Nikto, first seen in Return of the Jedi, and Scrap John Motito from the market scene in The Force Awakens, or at least another member of the as of yet unnamed species. Din eventually makes his way back to the infamous cantina at Maz Eisley, where in addition to seeing a bunch of IG droid heads at the bar, and a Gagorin you might recognize from the Star Wars Commander video game or Rogue One, he finds Pelimato playing cards with a big ant-like alien she calls Dr. Mandible, which might very well be a nod to the episode's director Peyton Reed, who also directed Marvel's Ant-Man movies. Judging from its location opposite the bar, it looks like they're in the same booth Han shot Greedo in in A New Hope, and they're playing Sabacc, a card game seen throughout Star Wars, and also the one that Han played to win the Millennium Falcon from Lando. And she ends up winning the hand with an Idiot's Array, a rare hand that first appeared in the Rebels episode of the same name. More importantly, did you bring back any of that dragon meat? Better not have any maggots on it. I don't like maggots. <laughs> Back at Pelly's shop, a Treadwell droid, first seen in A New Hope, barbecues up their dragon meat using a pod racer engine, just how they do it at Ronto Roaster's restaurant at Galaxy's Edge. We're then introduced to the show's titular passenger, a member of a new frog species voiced by Dee Bradley Baker, the voice of Captain Rex and all the other clone troopers in the Clone Wars and Rebels TV shows. We're not sure what language she speaks, but Mando does try out some Huttese on her right before we see some New Republic X-Wings, one of which is piloted by none other than Trapper Wolf, played once again by executive producer Dave Filoni. The X-Wing pilots directly reference the events and characters from the season one episode, The Prisoner, and Richard Ayoade returned to voice the mercenary droid Zero, or at least his head, when the passenger tapped into his vocabulator to communicate with Din. No. No. When the Razor Crest is trying to get away from the X-Wings, the scene has some clear visual similarities to the famous trench run from A New Hope. And those knobby white spiders they encounter? Well, while they might remind you of the Krikna scene in Rebels, they were confirmed by Lucasfilm creative art manager Phil Zostak to be a new species, and they're totally based on one of Ralph McQuarrie's original concept art designs from The Empire Strikes Back. The show confirmed that Baby Yoda still has a taste for all things frog, and while it is tough to wait a whole week before we get to see how the Mandalorian saga continues, make sure to keep up with us at Screen Rent to get your Star Wars fix. We will be here next week with more callbacks and Easter eggs and the best TV show happening in a galaxy far, far away. I'm Greg Elliott, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.